Hi everyone, this is Rinki and welcome back to Inki with Rinki, the very first episode of 2025 and Happy New Year to all of you. I hope your skin feels as hydrated as hyaluronic acid, as plumped, as polyglutamic acid, as calm as sentinel acid tikka. and I hope you have a lovely year ahead of you. So to the very first episode of 2025, we have something different i'm gonna talk about behind the beauty so what happens before your favorite moisturizer or the lipstick that you so love that doesn't budge and goes for the 24 hours how are those created it takes a village full of people to turn those ideas to life and if you are looking for a job in 2025 this video is for you for our first segment, let's understand some data point. Globally, beauty and personal care industry is expected to reach $673 billion in 2025. In Europe, roughly caters to $145 billion. In UK alone, it's little over $16 billion. Each product on the shelf has a story and behind each product, there is a team of experts with unique skill set. And if you want to become one of those experts, you need to understand what are the different roles that's available in the market. I have been working in the industry for 14 years and I have navigated my career through various different roles. I started in the lab, then factory, then product development, then QA, then regulatory and now overarching the entire world of innovation. So I am here to guide you to your next role and hope you find your dream job soon. So if you are starting fresh in the beauty or if you are looking for a career change and just for better opportunities, I am here to guide you. So let's start with something that you might be aware of, marketing. But think again, do you think all marketing is same? All rules are same? Or what does even marketing people do? So let's start with something that you might be aware of, marketing. But marketing are the product strategist. They identify shoppers behavior, consumer need gap, analyze the product trends, analyze retail or purchasing behavior, they identify USP, why it will stand out in the market, and they also work on brand guidelines. All marketing are not same. Within marketing, there are divisions. There is consumer insight manager, brand manager, marketing manager, trade marketing manager, and innovation manager, and each role differs from one another. So whether you are in a very big organization like the consumer giant or you're working for a founder-led brand, you might see four distinctive roles or you might see a lot of roles with overlaps like brand and innovation manager. Innovation manager and brand manager have distinctive yet complementary role in an organization. When in one side, innovation managers focus on NPDs, new idea, new process to bring alive to the market. They analyze what shoppers are looking for. They identify those macro or micro trends. Brand managers works in identifying consistency and clarity and brand reputation for all marketing channels. Brand managers are responsible for creation and execution of brand strategies, managing marketing campaign, and also monitor brand performance across all marketing channels. So when innovation managers actually manages NPD and market entry, brand managers are responsible for brand positioning, communication, and perception. They are the reason who creates the brand's reason to believe. So if consumer are believing in your brands, they are the architect of that faith. But it all starts with consumer insight manager. Now, bigger organization has a separate division who particularly work 
on shoppers analysis and consumer market insight so they identify the trends they identify the gap in the market and they supply the data to the marketing partners so they focus on customer behavior preference feedback to the strategic business decision and they collect and analyze the customer data through survey through social media even sales report provided by nielsen or iqvr they conduct marketing research they identify trends also the areas of improvement providing actionable insight that can actually build future product trade marketing manager now they work with sales team define strategies tailored to a specific retailer or a point of sales they also design promotional campaigns manage point of sales to ensure the product visibility they design the planogram to be implemented with a catered range to a particular retailer or a wholesaler and they organize the trade shows to showcase product so they boost the product visibility and active engagement with your trade part so while consumer insight managers works with consumer understanding and strategic planning trade marketing manager for a company works on product promotion and partner engagement both are complementary but equally important so while consumer insight managers works with consumer understanding and strategic planning trade marketing manager for a company works on product promotion and next we going to talk about research and development that's the one i generally work in i have been working for 14 years but there are several verticals of research and development first up formulation scientist they are the mastermind so i started my career as a formulation scientist back in the days so they work with the raw material supplier identify the ingredients and they actually make the lab batch and creates the prototype so if you see the product in the market there are probably several revision of formulation scientist have made before it comes in your hand and formulation scientist generally comes from chemistry biology or um engineering major sometimes next up raw material specialist i also call them the innovators of the world they scout and source innovative ingredients that make the beautiful formula so your favorite lipstick it's not budging due to the polymers the raw material specialist come into action they test new raw material they do the background research to bring those materials alive and there are many job roles available sometime in the beauty company where they test the raw materials or even for the raw material company who are the maker of those ingredients and also the distribution company for a particular market and they also work in negotiating with the suppliers for ethical sourcing they ensure the material is compliant to the brand guideline for example like if you want to source a biodegradable glitter you go to a raw material scientist another important role in r&d i call them as timekeepers they are the stability coordinators every single cosmetic products need to undergo a 3 month of stability testing it's a test where we actually look at the color odor texture or integrity of the formula stability coordinators does this rigorous job ensuring that the formula is robust before it gets to the consumers next day is regulatory affairs specialist they are the gatekeepers they are the unsung heroes who ensures that everything in the market is safe and compliant they review labels they ensure your marketing claims can be validated they stay up to date with the changing regulation whether it's eu whether it's asia whether it's uk or us market they ensures you are using ingredients to the respective market according to the guidelines so if a brand wants to launch in eu for example a regulatory affairs specialist ensures it complies with the reach regulation and includes the product safety or the testing guidelines for that market regulations may vary for instance europe has a very different regulation on sunscreen versus us 
Next, very important, the microbiologist. So you get a product free of contaminants, microbiologist, test your product before it gets to the market. They test your product for all kinds of pathogens and ensure it's free. So people with microbiology degree or advanced biology degree generally try to get into this particular field. Next up in the list are the project manager or the project management team. They are like a coach. They ensure the product follows the critical path and the product gets launched on budget and on time. They are very important. They work as a missing link between R&D, between marketing, supply chain and manufacturing. They solve logistics problem, they analyze the risk and they highlight roadblocks, identify stakeholders, take decision, mitigate risk, analyze the decision and communicate back to the wider team. And People from various backgrounds actually make a success in the project management. And then the manufacturing teams come in. So a formula, when it is in a 500 gram lab batch, is now being made 2 million pieces for the opening order. The builders or the architects come into action. So the architects are generally the technology transfer specialists who actually enable to scale up that lab batch to the factory batch and generally process engineers are hired for the role. I myself has worked many years including now as a process engineer and specialize on something developing from 500 gram to 21 ton. So they actually ensures that your product can be made across multiple countries and multiple factories seamlessly so that tiny lab bed still looks fine when it is produced 2 million pieces or 10 million pieces then comes to the designers so you see those beautiful artwork the beautiful play of color those nice funds the the gapping and the correct layout so designers work to bring those artwork alive using various kinds of softwares and there are many roles for a junior position like creative designer to very senior position like creative directors based on your experience apply to the respective role now how can i forget about packaging that beautiful airless pump that monodose unit or that beautiful mascara and the spoolie action Packaging makes the product experience very much likable. A correct formula in a wrong packaging can ruin the consumer experience. So packaging design experts, whether they are material experts or whether they're performance functionality experts, caters to the world of packaging designing. They also ensures packaging is compatible with the formula and they also test out different materials and functionality of the product. There are many companies who design their own packaging and hires experts. And there are many companies which outsource packaging from the packaging suppliers of the world. There are many roles in packaging. Look up. As you can see, there is a lot that goes behind your favorite beauty product, whether it's your beautiful mascara or the indulgent body scrub. There is a team of experts that have worked day in and day out to bring that vision to life, to make it available to your favorite beauty retailers or even DTC channel. I hope you have enjoyed this episode and if it has helped you, please leave a comment, like, share and subscribe. At its heart, Inki with Rinki is not just about glowing skin. It's about educate, inspire, empower and celebrate science. I hope I'm able to help you today if you need any more help on looking for job in 2025 or helping you to navigate the market. I am here to help and hope you find your next dream job very soon. Until next time. Stay radiant, stay curious, stay glowing and of course, sign savvy. Thank you.